Hello gorgeous people, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then welcome, I hope you're all good. This is such a random point and time for me. Oh my god it's Flash, oh my god he scared the life out of me there. Yeah this is a very random point for me to be starting the vlog because I've literally just got in from a Nando's day, well actually crashed a Nando's day. My bestie and her boyfriend were going out for dinner so I got invited and I'm not going to say no, do you know what I mean? So we've been for a Nando's. I've literally just walked through the door, I've still got my bag on. Actually, I'll show you my little outfit of the day, because it's been quite a cute outfit today. But I've just stuck the kettle on, I'm going to have a brew. Um, but I've just got home to a delivery, and I thought we could start the vlog doing a little unboxing of a delivery, because it's a look fantastic order that I did yesterday. Can we just talk about, for a minute, Look Fantastic's delivery service? Because honestly, why is it impeccable? Like, why is there no other company out there that that does it like you can literally order i think i ordered it at like quarter past 10 last night it literally came first thing this morning but i've not had a chance to unbox it until now so i thought we could do it together let me just go make my cup of tea let me just show you my outfit quick actually please ignore the fact that i've started opening the boxes but this has been my little outfit of the day so i've got my protein um unitard on i mean it's definitely not supposed to be that ridden up um but it's been a gorgeous day today um it's been a really wild few days weather wise so it's nice to have a bit of sunshine finally um so yeah i've got this little unitard on which is just the most comfortable thing it's ripped I think I've showed you this before it's so so comfy and then I've thrown on this um Zara bomber over the top which sits in a really nice place if you're wearing like a unitard and then I've got my black um Burberry bag on and then I've just shoved these new balance on I've had a good sort out of like my clothes and shoes in the last couple of days and I found trainers that I forgot I even had like these creamy new balance are they four five twos Five thirties, sorry. Yeah, they're so good and I forgot that I even had them. I've only worn them a handful of times. Anyway, I'm gonna go and just make my brew, my bedtime brew. It's literally nearly 10 o'clock at night and I'm gonna go and let Bumper in from the back garden because he's barking and it will definitely annoy the neighbours in the next five minutes. And then we will open my Look Fantastic order because I've ordered a lot of new things that I've not tried before, which you guys know is my favourite thing to do, testing products. Hello, monkey, it's past your bedtime. Oh, you want to join? Come on then. Oh, hi vlogger, hi vlogger, my name's Bumpy and I've got mummy's lipstick on my back Why she gave me a big kiss when she came in. Oh careful, that'll be very hot. Oh my gosh, your eyes, oh my gosh, your eyes, oh my gosh. Okay, so I did a Look Fantastic order last night and I feel like it's been a while since I shared my Look Fantastic code here on YouTube. I've been filming a hell of a lot of beauty reels at the minute, like makeup, skincare ones are coming, hair care, all that kind of thing. And I've been really trying to link as many products on Look Fantastic as I can. So I share my code a lot over on there, but I feel like unless I'm doing like a sit down video on a Wednesday with like products, I rarely share my code here and I feel like more people watch my vlog. So here I am to just let you know, Asha LF in capital letters is my Look Fantastic code and it never changes and it always gets you discount on products. But even when they're running like all their different offers that they have on products all year round. So right now, for example, some things are already discounted. My code will give you extra discount on top, which is fabulous. And we love to see it. I use my own Look Fantastic code so much and I think it's probably the code that I have out of all the brands that I work with that people use most because I am well makeup is the heart of what I do right so like beauty skincare that's all my thing and look fantastic is just the best one-stop shop to get everything and even wellness like all of my like pillow sprays and like my neon stuff like everything is on look fantastic I honestly don't know I can't remember a time without that website a couple of things are like restocks the bits that I needed and then other things are things that I really really wanted to try. I really wanted to try a more affordable I guess you could say body cream than the Sol de Janeiro ones. Now I absolutely adore the SDJ creams, the Boom Boom or Bum Bum. I actually went to an event with them not long ago and apparently it's pronounced Boom Boom but everybody just calls it Bum Bum Cream. The Bombardier Bright Cream, the Elasti Floor Cream and also the Coco Cabana Cream which was the blue tub. That was actually my favourite above the Bum Bum Cream but they discontinued it for their new Rio Radiance which is also insane. I used that in when I was in Sorrento and I linked it on my stories because I was like wow this new cream by SDJ is insane however they are spenny and i know so many of you guys i've chatted to on dms who get them for yourselves as a treat so i thought let's 
range it out a bit let me try out some bits that kind of give me a similar vibe but a lot more like affordable and when you run out of them it's not like oh i'm trying to hold on to the last bit because it's actually going to cost me 40 quid if i get a new tub so i was doing some research all of my boxes going to fall and i thought i would try these garnier body superfood creams now they've got a few on look fantastic i narrowed it down to three which I will talk you through and why. Now I went for this one, which is mango and vitamin C. Now vitamin C is amazing for brightening on the skin. And then I went for this one because I've tried, this is not something I've tried before on my actual body skin. So again, from their body superfood range, I've got the avocado and omega-6. And this one is supposed to be super nourishing. But avocado on the body. Oh, that smells good. Wow, that's a gorgeous smell. That, that's really subtle but really really fresh that looks like it's going to be a super nice cream oh wow that feels so good on the skin this one this was the only one of this type that they did so this is a hydrating gel cream so those are like pure body creams and this is like a more gel texture the reason why i went for this one is because the Coco Cabana that Sol de Janeiro have now discontinued, in my opinion, compared to like the Bum Bum and all the others that they do, it was more like a jelly type texture, which I absolutely love in a body cream. So I thought, well, I'll try this because if that compares to that, then I'm onto a winner and it's so much cheaper. Like these are so, so cheap with my code as well. So this is watermelon hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is unreal for my skin. I already know that. So I'm hoping this is going to be incredible. Yeah, it's definitely more jelly in texture than like just a cream. I don't know if you can see that. Oh my days. That is the nicest thing I've ever smelled in my life. I stocked up on a smaller bottle of my Waleda skin food. This is the light version. I have super oily skin. You can probably see now I've got a bit of a shiny head going on. I mean, I don't really have much makeup on. I just have like a skin tint on today. Um, but I'm a, I'm an oily gal. I always have been. And I thought maybe as I got older, it would maybe dry out a little bit. And it's yet to do that. So I'm an oily gal. If you are also oily like me, we're later to do the skin food in a light version, which is just a godsend because it's not as rich. It's a super rich product anyway, but it's not like it's not as rich as the original version so it's a lot better for our kind of skin if you've got similar skin to me if you've never tried this yet as a moisturizer again a moisturizer that's so cheap but it's so good underneath makeup like it, as a moisturizer it's insane but there's so many moisturizers that are so good but don't sit well under makeup this is up there and sits really really nice under makeup as well we have got a matte eyeliner in shade teddy which is like their warm brown color i use an urban decay one at the minute in my waterline brown on the eyes is my thing at the minute i know the whole latte eyes thing is a trend but i've always been a brown eye kind of gal bronzes as eyeshadows brown waterline it's always been my thing because the warmer colors just suit my blue eyes a lot better than like black and then i got a morphe lip liner in shade sweet tea now i don't know if this is going to be a bit too light on me i use guide me and bite me by morphe and i think they've only just started selling morphe i'm not fantastic i might be wrong but they didn't have much um but i don't know if sweet tea is gonna be i don't know it looks like a really good true to tone lip color for me so you know on like no makeup days if you've watched my makeup videos you'll know i always say just go as close to your lip color as possible just to like give them a bit more fullness but without looking like you've got um makeup on this is a perfect kind of vibe. Then I picked up two Makeup Revolution brow pencils. I love both of these. One is the Precise Brow Pencil and one is the Microblading Effect Pencil. These are the two that I kind of go between. They're both almost identical. One's more like pointy, like a actual pencil tip and one's more like a square. So it actually gives like a microblading effect. And I thought I would try the Viral YSL Brown Mascara. So I've been using a brown mascara, which I think is a L'Oreal one at the moment but it's like a black brown so it still dries pretty dark whereas this wait until you see this i had a little sneak peek earlier look how much of a warm brown this is can you see how warm that is for a brown mascara like a lot of brown mascaras are like a really dark like black brown like i said i'm gonna try this when am i doing a full face next over the next couple of days anyway but this has been going viral and when i spotted it on lf i was like hmm, i'm gonna get it so it's the ysl lash class lash clash and this is in color too which is their brown and i am so excited to try it and not only that because i spent i think because i spent x amount on ysl which is however much the mascara was they threw in a little mini one which is the black 
but it's a little mini mascara i love look fantastic for that they always have free gifts in the basket like little samples little testers or you spend x amount on like such and such brand so you get this for free i just love that about look fantastic and the last two things i picked up one of them is the kat von d tattoo liner so they recently started selling kat von d on look fantastic and i got like one of the pr boxes for it i have loved her makeup forever her red lipstick i can't remember what it's called one of the reds that she does is my favorite red ever and i've bought it for a while now but i got the black eyeliner of this the like liquid liner pen in the pr box and it is insane but like i said i wear brown generally so i picked up the brown in this which looks like it's going to be really good kat von d is just an absolute og in makeup yeah love the look of that that's going to be a gorge brown another little restock is my by terry balm de rose which is my favorite lip balm in the world i posted a reel literally yesterday or the day before and i'm using this in it and i'm like nearly running out you can literally see me in the reel like trying to get to the bottom of it so i thought asha you need to restock like you can't be a makeup girl and be scraping the barrel in your reels like you've got to do something about that this is just the best balm it's the most nourishing thing i mean it's not the cheapest but it's just one of the best i'm a bit of a lip balm connoisseur because i go through a lot because for me oils and balms on the lips over lipstick at this time of year is just the way forward this is what the by terry looks like so good having a fresh one you can't even see the writing on my current bottle. This is what it looks like. It is insane. Have I got anything on my lips now? No, it's all come off. This is what I'm wearing. So just thought I would pop it on and show you. But it goes on like a milky kind of balm vibe. But it's a lip balm. It applies like a gloss. But you can tell it's not a gloss. And it's just so nourishing and hydrating. Got an ever so slight rose sort of scent to it. Which is nice but not overpowering. It doesn't actually have much of a taste to it. But it's so lovely. I love this with like a lip colour, lip liner. I like that Morphe Sweet Tea. And this is such a good like little combo for no makeup days. And that's it. That is literally everything I bought. But I am going to try these um, body creams over the next few days in this vlog. And let you all know. But like I said, the watermelon gel cream I think is going to be my favourite. But I just thought let's start testing out more body creams because yeah you know that i've loved the sol de janeiro for so long and i've pushed them for so long but they are spenny so it's about time that we try something a bit more affordable i have thoroughly enjoyed that little haul at the beginning of this vlog i mean it's very late it's way past my bedtime so i'm going to finish this through i'm going to take some deep bloating tablets because i'm so full after that nando's and then tomorrow Chloe and I have booked into a hot pod yoga class in Chester, which we literally did while we were sat at the Nando's table, which is just something so random, but we thought, why not? So I'm going to go get ready for bed and I'll see you all in the morning when I am ready for hot yoga. And she is hot yoga ready. And it is actually a really hot day. Um, I've just packed my bag in here. I've got my water, a little toiletry bag just for freshening up, towels and spare socks and a spare top as well because my sports bra is probably going to be really sweaty um but i love this color by honor active it's like i think it's called sand um because it actually doesn't show sweat i always train legs in this set and i love it and the back details like cross and it's really minimal so it's like good for like sweaty sessions you know because it's like a barely there kind of fit i've got to drive to chloe's and then we're gonna head into chester to hot yoga i'm so excited i'm so ready for this this morning also my skin at the minute it's doing all right i had like a really i don't think i showed you in the vlog probably had makeup on but I had a really bad like rough blemish on my head which sometimes i get when i'm like stressed um and then obviously hormonal around my mouth is something that kind of always stays there anyway but yeah it's doing all right i've just popped on a bit of i've cleansed and just popped on a bit of skin food this morning because obviously i'm just gonna sweat it all off anyway but i've packed my tapture dewy skin cream for afterwards in case we go and grab a quick coffee or something but yeah i'm gonna jump in the car head to chloe's and hopefully the traffic's not bad because it's summer holidays which is just a blessing good morning my beautiful niece meadow oh, such a beautiful girl you bought me all of the toys it's, i think your mum and daddy will be very angry because you made a bit of a mesh i think we should tidy up don't you isn't she just the prettiest dog you've ever seen this is my friend chloe's dog she is so beautiful you were so small when you were your pups and you're just the prettiest disney dog I say she looks like a Disney doll kite like lady in the Trump vibe. She's got the prettiest eyes. Oh, you know it. Look at you posing. Oh. Cheers. We're sat in traffic. Well, was that at a red light? Um, so we've had a coffee made by Rich, Chloe's boyfriend, and it's 
always handy when you're best mates. So the best coffee company. Oh yeah, Rex and, Rex and Bean yeah. Co. It's honestly the best coffee. And I've got it from the HQ directly this morning. <laughs> We're like tight shorts, hoodies. I'm so yoga man. We're so yoga, so yoga. <laughs> hoodie says yoga. <laughs> Born sisters and seekers know I said to Chloe last night and Nando's what are you going to wear tomorrow she's like I'm going to wear shorts and a hoodie so obviously I put shorts and a hoodie on. How exciting. I'm buzzing. It literally is a party. The sweat. I need to change my shorts. Thank God I bought spares with me because they are dripping wet. Yeah. Post yoga Zara shop. It's never just popping into here is it? No. Chloe was like, I like these joggers, and I was like, okay, okay, I'll get them. Um, I've got loads of basics. Come to the flower cup for brunch. How cute is it in here? You can get a bottle of water there, Chloe, if you want some, do you want some water? Yeah. I think I'm obviously going to get avocado on toast. I'm going to get the bacon and I'm going to get some tomatoes. Also, really funny, I'm going to an event with my vitamins in a couple of weeks, and they sent me the breakfast menu, and the girl that sent it me already knew what I was going to choose, because obviously I just get the same thing everywhere I go. Eggs, um, Royale sounds nice, though. Yeah. That's my mum's favourite, but I've got Yeah, she loves it. Pancakes though, blueberry pancakes. Oh, they put the pancakes back on the menu in Tello, the blueberry ones, yeah. They took them off during COVID and I was fuming. So just what you need after you've lost half your body weight in sweat. Look at this. For an absolute feed. Mm. Aren't they nice, those beans? Yeah. I've had some actual beans before. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The usual for me are abo on toast, poached egg, Tommy's, and a side of buckle. Hello, hello, hello. Wow, I look a bit ski with. Apologies. It is Friday night. The last time I saw you, me and Chloe were in Chester. Ignore the bag for life in the background, very aesthetically pleasing. B&M vibes. It is now 6 pm, and I am on my way to Billy's house. We are spending the day together tomorrow, and we were like, why don't we just have a sleepover tonight? I've left my house with my brother and my sister-in-law having cocktail night. For me, it's a mate day and I'm going to Mills. I have only had like five cups of tea today. I've had no coffee and I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll get a coffee. I was supposed to leave a bit earlier. There was something else that I needed to do. So I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll get a Starbucks on my way. But now it's like evening almost, like 6 p.m. I just don't really know if I want to have a coffee right now. That light's really good on that mirror. Yeah, like for a car light. Look how bright that is. It's giving me light on my face. We're trying to decide where to go for food in Manchester. We thought we'd go to Rudy's, but Millie's friend's in there and he was like, oh, there's no tables till like half nine, which is a bit annoying. So we don't know where else to go. We're in like Ancoats. There's so. like five million places to eat. Mm, I'm so hungry. What, right, what? I don't know. What? You never know what I fancy, that's my issue. I can do pizza. Pizza and wine. Do it's what I want right now. I mean, I've eaten so much food today, it's been ridiculous. I haven't eaten that much food. Um, I don't know, McDonald's? I actually wouldn't say no to that if it's a <laughs> last resort. In, I've not sat in McDonald's in years. Neither have I. Fun. Oh, actually, no, I have in Amsterdam not that long ago when oh. I was drunk. No, I haven't done that for a while. So we've ended up in Mule, You're trying to which is a very familiar place. <laughs> Cheers, darlings. Millie's having a conversation with someone behind me. Did you just get that in the box? No. Hi. Hi, vlog gang. Harry, introduce yourself. <laughs> Say hi, Harry. Hello, I'm Harry. He's laughing at my puny little camera, but it's all right, we'll let him off because he's handsome. <laughs> That's the porn star. That's the porn star. <laughs> Not <big. laughs> Only one way to finish the night with a cup of tea and oat milk. Oh, Tanky! Come say hi to the vlog, Tank. Come say hi to the vlog. <gasps> wow! Who's that? Oh, you paws on the oh. Oh, pretty boy. Oh, pretty. Is that there? <gasps> oh, he's Tanky. He's like hi. He's Tanky. No, no. It's too gross. Are you taking the piss? It looks Have like shook semen. It? it looks like fucking shook it semen. Shook it? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know what that looks like. Even what I <laughs> Wait. Wait. What is going on? Why does it look like that? Is it meant to look like that? What is this? Oat? It's meant to 
Oh my god, that's better. Why is it fizzy? <laughs> <laughs> you should have used the organic. No, that looks like that's not right. That looks like that's not that looks like sewage water. <laughs> Do you need more? No. 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 Look at the colour of that. Yeah, I drink dark tea. Oh right, okay, cool. I didn't know that was a thing. You don't know, get to know colour of the colour of the bruise. No, that's actually not bad that milk, to be fair. Okay. I actually could cope with that if I could never drink dairy again. Okay. That's good. Good morning, Altringham. We're normally there, but today we are here. Christ, look at the state of that. <laughs> We've literally rolled out of bed before we get ready to come and walk the dog. Wow. Not looking like I look like I'm going to the airport at 3 a.m. <laughs> we actually had a nightmare last night with the dog. No, we did. Uh, oh. Tank, I know he's had a um, bumper then. Tank did not want to settle. Wow. But it's fine because he's behaving today. It's My totally fine. Down there. He's still a baba, so he needs time. I've got a caramel latte with an extra shot. Oh, they that? look nice. What is that? <laughs> Two flat lights. Yeah, we literally rolled out of bags. We thought we'll come for a little walk in Tualti, get a coffee, and then we'll go back and start getting ready for the day. It's such a gorgeous day. Look. What a day to be alive, gorgeous people. Cheers. Happy Saturday. There's a love heart in the coffee. That's cute. Tank. Come on. Walkies. <laughs> come on. As you can tell, the dog's very Good obedient. <laughs> This is just how I'm not to train your Come dog. On. That's not our car, darling. Come on. Tip. Let's go. Is he bilingual like Bumper? Tip. <laughs> that means come in He's Welsh. French. What's um, we, we, oh, I fucking win. <laughs> come on, baby, let's go. Okay, it's 12. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. In the big, in the big <laughs> Why did we say that? We are actually, that's a nice number plate. What do you think his name is? Wimsh. Willie Marshall. William Marshall. <laughs> Willie Marshall, we'll go with that. Uh, we're ready. We're going to we're going into Manchester. My hair's not really giving. Like why are you out of I look like a boiled egg. No, this needs this needs to stop right now. Why is that out of the half up, half down? I've used a clip for the half up, half down and I probably shouldn't have done that realistically. But you know when your hair's like, well we both washed our hair yesterday and we both feel like we've got greasy hair already. Well I do now, I've filled it with Well yeah, gel. you've put loads of product in it. I've gel in my hair. Um, we're going to the Represent pop-up in Manchester today. If anyone else is there, I'm about to meet you, even though you'll see this in the past, um, in the future. I've got a little cute outfit of the day, I've got black cargoes, my grey Adidas trainers, I've got this little Celine crop top which it's starting to change shape like the more i wash it and it's getting smaller and smaller which isn't good when my boobs nearly hanging out and then i've just put this denim choker on which is from asos um when i wore it in mykonos everyone was asking where it's from but i don't know if it's sold out guys look how many people are in here and then they're like drink feeding people in say good morning vlog gang Good morning. Oh, let me turn this down. Probably gonna get copyrighted. How are we, Bumper Lloyd? You're strapped in ready for a trip to the beach, aren't you? But Mummy has had to make one stop first. Here. Because I need a coffee. I really, really need a coffee. It's the next day if you haven't guessed. Oh, wow. Absolutely not. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get you out. Let me get you out. Hello, what a gorgeous view this is of my paws and my nose and my face. Um, it's the next day. I'm in Costa drive through It's very busy. It's 11.21am. And it's all going on this morning because this, this right here, I'm about to round the vlog up. Well, we're going to the beach and you know I like to take you there. But this is literally going live today, this vlog, so I need to edit it as well and get it up today which is classic me really i'm just not in my like week in hand motion at the minute with the vlogs but it's fine it's one of those things i've got a little baby bumper in the back he's very excited he was at the beach yesterday he went to a different beach yesterday with my brother and my sister-in-law and flash so he's actually knackered anyway but i just really want to go and get some fresh air i really really need it and a coffee my mother is driving from south wales to north wales well she she drove yesterday she left cardiff yesterday has stayed in Coventry last night for like some random thing that she went to UK Bubs. Um 
and what was I going to say? Yeah, so she stopped in Coventry last night. So she's coming to North Wales today. Her friends are driving home. They drove separately. I don't know what, what they went to Coventry for. Very random. It's like near Birmingham, is that? If I got that right, it's up by Birmingham. Um, down by Birmingham? Down. Um, anyway, so as soon as my mum gets here, I've booked us a table. We're going to go and get a Sunday lunch, the four of us, at half two. So hopefully I can get this edited between now and then. That would be fabulous. Got a coffee. Um, I just wanna say, I met so many of the vlog gang yesterday at um, the represent event. I was on my phone and then someone said Asha and I looked up thinking it was like one of the guys that I was with and I was like, hi. And they were like, oh, we watch your vlogs like every Sunday. And I was like, it was a couple, they were a couple. And I was like, guys, this is the best thing ever. Gave the girl a hug. And you know, you know what I'm like with smells? gave her a hug and I was like you smell incredible like you know when you'll never forget how someone smells like she smells so nice um but I love to see it they were so lovely a couple that watches the vlogs like I love that I love the quality time of a couple sitting down watching the vlogs on a Sunday because this is this channel is not just for the gals you know it's for the guys too so many of you actually say that your boyfriends will sit and watch the vlogs with you so hi boyfriends thanks for supporting the cause and yeah that couple that I met yesterday was so lovely it's so sweet i just appreciate it so much when people come and say hello it's honestly the best thing like bumping into you gorgeous souls out and about there's just nothing better anyway let's go and blow the what do they say blow the cobwebs off is that a saying um excuse me where do you think you're going silly billy guys i just dropped my car keys in like well it landed on like one of these gaps it was like as big as that one and i just dropped them and it landed you're probably not gonna be able to hear me sorry it's so windy down here oh my god that was that was god was on my side there because that would have been absolutely atrocious i'm gonna round the vlog up here because where's he gone we're gonna go for a walk and it's gonna be very windy it's gorgeous day on the beach though and I will see you all in, well, I'm going to see you all next week's vlog. Bye!